Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, you can see I got more plaid on today. I got like same, I got a couple of the same exact shirt sets, but um, it is cold out, and that's the reason I said that because it is so cold out. It's probably 50. I, I shouldn't say it's so cold, but it's cold. You know, coming from summer, it's cold. So, well, it is fall now, but you could see. I mean, just by looking, it probably looks warm, but it really isn't. It's very cold. So. Uh, as you may have seen the title, you know what time it is. It's time to get these rats out of the shed. And, like, they just even destroyed it even more since we last seen it. Like, they're just going through anything they can get. Um, anything. So, to anyone that may be watching this that is new to the channel, um, there's my trapping shed. And I had it really nice and clean back in that corner. Because I just started working on it a couple months ago, and then I stopped because the rats. But I had it nice. Uh, all that was organized and clean. But if you look back there now, uh, it is just complete. It wasn't on autofocus, guys. So it might have been on focus, but um, there is just it's just everywhere. They ruined it in here. They tore pelts apart. Uh, the pelts that I took a lot of time to, you know, I caught the animal. I tried it. You know, I obviously skinned it and. You know, the rats just ruined it. So, we're going to get them out of here. I'm sick of it. So, you know, I went ahead and I got a whole dozen of Victor rat traps. These are the pro ones. Uh, when I weasel trapped, uh, this is what I used. Right there. If you guys want to see some weasel trapping, uh, I will probably do that, actually, because I really enjoy it. But... We need to get these rats out of here, guys. It's getting it's getting out of hand. So, bam, bam, bam. They're done for. They're up in there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the reason I'm not using poison or, you know, a zap or something, I just don't think the poison's humane, honestly. I mean, you got to think they just, they eat the poison. And, you know, I don't know exactly how each brand goes, but, you know, they eat the poison. They get poison, obviously, and they they're probably really, you know, they probably really get hurt or whatever. And then they die and they rot somewhere. So that's not what I want to happen. I want it humane. I want it to just, you know, kill them instantly. Um, but yeah. So for this part one of setting the traps, obviously there won't be any dead rats in the video. Uh, this this one at least. And uh, yeah. So we're going to get to work in here. I'm just going to, we're going to place a bunch of these down because it's getting out of hand. Uh, we're using just regular peanut butter. Now, I am going to be using like a screwdriver or something to set these because <sighs> for how many of these I've set by hand, I'm lucky I've only got hit twice by them. But, you know, a lot of people think, oh, it's just a rat trap. These things hurt. Like, they hurt your thumb. If they hit your thumb on the bone, it hurts bad. So, <laughs> we're going to get to work in here. I'm not sure where we're starting, but these rats got to go. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, so we're on the <clears throat> skidding counter. Um... I haven't used it in a good two years now, but what we're going to do first, because rats are extremely dirty, you know, wild rats really, they're not that dirty as of like not being clean, but the disease they carry, stuff like that, it's just not good to be around, so put these uh, gloves on, that's a good first step because, man, and just in general in here, it's pretty, pretty nasty. Just from them ripping my pelts apart and stuff. I had it really nice in here. Obviously the big stuff that's thrown around, that was for me. But you know, I, I just stopped cleaning it in here because the rat just got so out of hand. So, get these gloves on. And, these, I should have got extra large ones. These are large. I got big hands. I just got some racing gloves and those are skin tight on my hands. So, roll these sleeves up a tiny bit. And we're going to get to work. So, I think what we're going to do is just kind of go around on tables and set them on tables. Uh, yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So, right next to here, there's a shelf. I'm going to clear a spot on the shelf and we're going to set one there. These are very touchy traps, by the way. Very, very touchy. Okay, guys. So, I got a little spot cleared there. But what we're going to do is, uh, since these are brand new traps, you just got to take a... And I have had so many of these from Weasel Trapping, guys. But, um, there's that. Uh, I do prefer these. 
actually, if I mean, if you're going after rats at home, it doesn't really matter. But since I was going to weasel trap, possibly, and, um, well, here's the other one. So, you got two rat traps. And you got your little metal one, and you got your professional pan. Reason I got these is because I have multi-use for them. I got them for the rats, and I got them for weasels, because when you have your trap in a weasel box, they jump through the, it's like a little, you know, it's like a little, it's called an ermine, you can look it up. But, um, they jump through the hole, and they land on this pan, that's what, that's what hits them. They're smaller than, like, a little tiny red scroll, so this is more than enough for them. But, yeah, that's the difference. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. These are way touchier, so just letting you know that now. But we're going to open our peanut butter. Surprisingly, they didn't rip this peanut butter open already. Because I could have seen them just biting through this, this shell. So, I just got a little nail to spread it on. Obviously, I'm not going to show peanut butter every single time. But, you know... Just while I'm at the counter still, we're going to go ahead and do it. The last place I'm going to probably put a trap is on this counter because this is going to be my workspace. So, yeah. Did I say weasel trap? <laughs> I'm not sure. But just spread it on here. And as touchy as these are, sometimes the rats will still just lick it off somehow. It's, it's insane. So. Oh, also, very bad idea to do. Um... <laughs> if, if you ever feel like making a bait pile on a desk and put a bunch of rat traps around it I've done that before and uh, yeah you, you just catch them by the tail and stuff so don't do it <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the only one I've probably ever done that like watching this video so there we go that's that uh, we're gonna set the screwdriver come on where you at he's down here so we're gonna swap you guys over Actually, I think the best thing to do would be go back there first and then work our way up so we don't set them off. So, see you back there. Okay, guys, so we're back at um, a stool back here. Ooh, man, I don't know. We got to be very careful because this might set off. But um, I am going to do this very carefully because these do hurt. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that. You know, mash, mouse traps obviously just set by him. Obviously, a lot of you guys are going to set them by hand, but me, <laughs> no. I've been hit by the thumb on... You see that? <laughs> that would have just hit my hand. So, yeah, I'll pass on that. I mean, it's good they're this strong. It will kill them quicker, but at the same time, yeah, I don't want to get your hand caught in there. Obviously, it hits your whole hand. It's not that bad. But when it's, um, okay, it's it. When it's your thumb, it's a different story because it hits you right on the bone. So, gently lift you guys up. See that one set right there? Um, we're going to move this way. I might not be able to set the whole dozen, which is okay because I'll still use those ones. But, um, <laughs> step away from the trap. I don't want to get set off. But we're going to do one here. I got to go get some, uh. A rat trap with some bait. I think we're going to do two on this table. You see this here? See it looks like a bunch of like dirt. This was actually a 15 pound deer feed block that they ripped open and ate all the corn out of and just left the molasses like mix. So I'm going to get two more baited traps and we'll set them up. Okay guys, so the lighting's not the best back here. But um, oh I'm so nervous. This table's so wobbly. Oh, this is so gross. These rats, they're just, man, they're terrible. So terrible. Um, we're only going to set one on here because I know the other one would just set off. So I think it's a smart move to just set one. So, because look at this table. See it wobbling? It's crazy. So let's set this trap with my little screwdriver because I'm a wimp. You know, I'll set I'll set a full foothold trap by hands. For okay, that pan's a little high, but I don't. You know, it's fine. Still catch them. So I'll I'll set the full foothold traps this big for you know water animals and stuff. But these these rat traps, I swear. So we're gonna move over here and uh, hopefully set another one without it getting setting off. Get it getting it set off. Here's our next spot, guys. Uh, up on my shelf of like. Where my bows are and stuff. 
obviously I keep the the main guns in the house, but I keep my bows down here. I went ahead and got some arrows, so I was going to start doing some archery. So let's try to set this uh, right here. It's so dirty in here. I had it. I know it's like messy in here, but I had it like, you know, I had bleach in here and I had, I sprayed the windows, I sprayed the floor with like some kind of cleaner. I can't, per, can't remember what it was, but I had it nice and clean here. So there's another one. Yeah, I'm going to do like one per like table or chair or whatever, because, you know, just two is pushing it because one goes off, the other one goes off. So uh, let's go try the window sill. Okay, so stuff needs took off of here. Even this windowsill, um, I completely cleaned this off. I had my little candles in the window. Um, I wasn't able to get a heater in here uh, this summer, but next summer, I'm going to try to. So just move some of these fake leaves out of the way. Soon I'll, I'll try to get a apartment or something so I can have like a little setup, but... Right here is the windowsill, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some peanut butter on that trap. But yeah, right here. Hopefully it's straight enough. It might, it might not even work, actually. Okay, guys. So I officially got peanut butter on the camera, finally. <laughs> but um, this one honestly has me the most worried because it's on a tilt. Hopefully it doesn't like jump up and smash the window. But I don't think this window is your kind of like normal glass. I think it's some kind of like plexi. So. Please. Come on. I think it's good. <laughs> we'll just step away from it. Step away. We're going to both step away. You guys are like six foot in the air now. But. <laughs> We're going to step away. Whoa, that camera almost went flying here. You get us upside down, Nick. But um, <laughs> I think we're going to go to the window still now. But uh, yeah, let's get you out of this weird position. Okay, guys, so if you can see right there, window sills here. See that one there? I just went ahead and set one on the floor without the camera because, you know, I don't have to film that. But <laughs> there's another one. So right now we have what? We have five. So I'm going to try to get to seven. So... To finish it off, we're going to go over to our desk here and put two more down. So, hopefully this ought to do it, you know. I could do a couple of days, you know, doing this. But, I don't want to put too many. You know, I just kind of want to have them spaced out. So, I don't kill them all, like, really quick. Because it's kind of fun doing this, honestly. You know, I wouldn't kill them if they were, like, some squirrels, like, you know, sleeping on the roof or whatever. But, you know... Whenever it sees rats, they just kind of really destroy everything. So, yeah, this ought to do it. But we're going to go to the desk, like I said, like two seconds ago and uh, set two more. Okay, guys, you are going to stay there, and I'm going to move down this way. Um, we're going to bait these last two. The video's coming to an end here soon. But um, we're going to bait these two up real quick. Uh, also, I didn't say if you're not, you know, you're not used to these traps, uh... There's an F and an S. I got those reversed, but they're there. Um, if you have it on the F side, that's uh, that's fast. And, you know, like to hit the animal or whatever. And slow is the S there. So, depending on which side you have that to most, you know, that'll work. Um, I forgot to say, though, I don't normally do it because it tends to make the traps annoying to set. But there's a little hole here, and you can fill it with um, peanut butter. So, you see that right there? You could fill that little hole with peanut butter, and that's so they have a hard time. What I have the best luck with, though, is the letters that are here. It's harder for them to lick past those letters, usually. So I really make sure I have it, like, stuck down inside the letters on the pan. So I notice that works all the time. And then, I, you know, I put, obviously, a good amount on here so it's easier to set off. I usually always put these to the slow side. And then bait them up pretty good because when they're on the fast, um, it um, really sets off quick. So this is pretty much equal to the fast side, but you can really bait it up. So do the other one real quick. I'll cut that out and then I'll move this stuff off the desk and we'll set them. 
Okay guys, so it's time to set these. Uh, it's a little bit darker because it's kind of focusing on the window a bit more. But um, we got the two traps here. One the video off in a second. But uh, there is going to be a part two to this. Uh, just letting you guys know, obviously, to show the catches. Um, I'll say at the beginning that, you know, there's going to be dead rats. It's just rats, so, you know, nothing graphic, just no blood or anything, just rats in a trap. So, we're going to set these, and, um, man, I go, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, like, instantly snap out of talking when I set these. Oh, the pan was off the thing. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh, that scared me. Right, I'm gonna get more straight with this. Now, yeah, like I said, I never really fill that little piece up here because it's kind of annoying. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen that, but um, that trap set like it's supposed to set, and that's when it like um, slips down, it like slips and sets into the right spot. Cause if you notice, all the ones I've set, they're like straight up, and that one is how it's supposed to be set right now at that level. But these, you know, within like 20 minutes or so, the you know, the plastic's so slippery they would have slipped and locked into place. That's why I leave them high, cause usually it'll do that. But that one decided to do it right in front of me, and it's kind of making me nervous. Obviously not now, it's over there, but... The th thing is, I don't know if I should chance it and set this trap. I don't know if I should chance it at all. I think what I might do... Uh, I'll, I'll try. Let's try. I'll have to finish the video off outside, though, because then we have to get out of here. But here we go. Do-do-do. I'm not worried about this trap, I'm worried about that one. I don't want it setting off. Cause then I have to set it again with this annoying screwdriver. That's what they ought to sell. They ought to sell a rat trap setting stick. To anyone who's nervous on hitting their bones. Or their joints. <laughs> this one's being annoying. See, I never fill that little pocket. I know that, you know, it's harder for them to get it out, but it's so frustrating. Okay, <laughs> we're going to get out of here, but first I'm going to like zoom to the traps we set so you guys know for the check, but um, I'm going to set this over here, okay, <laughs> and I'm going to get you guys off the tripod and uh, take these gloves off. Okay guys, so you're going to probably hear a constant zooming uh, on the camera like a noise, but there's one trap, two traps, now this is on the skinning counter, the ones we just set. We got one on the floor over under the windowsill. One there. I'm doing this because sometimes uh, they'll flip all over the place and it's kind of hard to find the traps. So there's that one in the windowsill. There's one right there. See the blue box? It's right in front of it. One in front of the deer molasses where the block was completely shredded. I would have loved to see that on camera, like a time lapse of them shredding that block. That would have been cool and annoying. <laughs> Back there by the North American Fur Auctions bag, there is another one on the chair, and that is our trap set. So, I hope it does good. Uh, you know, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven traps out. Hopefully it does good, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's nice in here right now, and then you look on the floor and it's terrible. So, we're going to get these rats out of here, hopefully. I know we will, though. we we got to get them. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this rat trapping series to come out, but finally, I can come and do it. So we're down here, and give them some time, and I'll see you guys in part two. Part two would be out uh, next week. There would probably be two uploads instead of just the normal one between you know the two videos. It would be this one and something else. So, Or just this one. You guys will let me know. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to go outside, get away from these traps before all of the work is gone from shutting the door. They'll just set off. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for all the talking. But yeah, thanks for watching.